Hello Wolfpack, quick video on Curve here. Um, Curve is a, a yield uh, staking uh, platform in which you can stake your coins to earn pretty high returns. And essentially that's not even the point, right? We're not looking at the fundamentals at all. I'm making a very quick video because it's very time sensitive. Uh, we have a good trading signal on Curve, uh, shouted out to me by my close friend and fellow analyst, Megawell Crypto. Go ahead and check him out if you want um, some premium signals over there. Um, but essentially Curve is in a descending wedge structure. It's been playing out since around January of 27th, even a little bit earlier if you counted in for this on 26. So the setting wedge structure is typically a very bullish structure. Um, most of the time, the overwhelming majority of the time, you break to the upside. Uh, as you can see on the Fibonacci retracement here, we've entered the lowest area of the um, construction here and we're breaking to the upside. Once we reach around the uh, 0.5 zone or 50%, uh, as some people would call it, that would be pretty much an entry that uh, this, this descending channel has been broken successfully and we're actually going to continue the breakout rather than a fake out. So once we passed 0.5 or 50%, which is around uh, $4.40. That would be a great entry zone. Uh, if you wanted to be a little bit more risky, you could enter early, You could enter earlier, but I'm not sure how long this video is going to take to get out. So hopefully we've still got time for that. Um, it shouldn't be too rushed, right? This is the four hourly chart. And as I said, this has been playing out since uh, late October. So about two or three weeks. Um, and hence, you know, that's the length of the, the wedge formation uh, means that generally you're going to take a little bit longer to see um, the whole move play out perfectly. So you know, it might take a while. Don't feel rushed. If you want to wait for Bitcoin to, to I don't know, close some daily candles above 60K, you might miss out a bit. But, you know, a bit of confirmation is necessary in an unstable market that we are in currently. So I wouldn't be, uh, you know, I wouldn't be opposed to waiting for a close. I know personally, and I, you know, the close might be in by the time I release this video, but I'm waiting for a close above 60K on Bitcoin, which would confirm a bullish, and go, uh, bullish hammer candle. Uh, and that would give me some confirmation to trade this. Um, if we're still lurking in that 58K area, uh, you know, by the time we break out, I probably won't be trading this at the moment. But, you know, so that said, this this is subjected to your own opinion on Bitcoin. Uh, be confident that Bitcoin's going to do well because if Bitcoin drops, you know, this is going to drop as well. You know, this isn't an independent coin. Uh, it moves uh, with the market to a certain extent. But if Bitcoin's looking healthy and it breaks out, that's a great trading signal in my personal opinion. So, you know, I'm looking for an entry uh, personally upon the breakout. Uh, but if you're very, very conservative, you'd look for a 0 0.5, which is 50%, uh, and you'd wait for Bitcoin to top out uh, or bottom out as well. So it looks pretty good, right? We had um, some SMAs here that we're holding for support. We've recently flipped the 26, we've flipped the 12, uh, and we've got the 100 SMA on the 4 hourly chart um, just acting as resistance right above our um, wedge, our descending wedge here. So it is it is necessary to wait, uh, you know, and see what happens for the breakout. Uh, probably wouldn't be buying right now at current prices, but it looks good. Uh, on the daily chart as well, this is another very, very bullish thing for Curve, right? CRV, we have this long-term uh, symmetrical triangle structure, right? That's been forming since 2020, August 2020. And what have we done? We've broken to the upside, we've entered a descending wedge, and we've flipped it for support. That looks beautiful. That's a beautiful support resistance flip. Typically, after that happens, we move to the upside, you know, nine times out of 10, even more than that, right? So it looks very, very bullish. Adding to the bullish news on Curve, we also have, um, and this is my main problem with Curve before we get into it. This is why I didn't like Curve in the past, right? I didn't really understand its tokenomics too well, but I didn't like it because of the dramatic difference between market cap and price, which means it, it's progressively getting harder and harder. Uh, sorry about that. Progressively getting harder and harder uh, to move the price on Curve because the market cap is going upwards, but the price is not reflecting that. That's because new coins are being bring, brung into circulation constantly. That has been solved, right? And solved to a certain extent, right? 92.4% of the curve circulating supply has been locked for 3.7 years, according to Credible Crypto. Um, so that's good to see. That means there's not going to be much more uh, inflation on curve, uh, and that's going to be a problem solved for the rest of the market. So we look good. Um, sorry for making these short videos recently. Uh, I really want to get them out because these videos are very, very time sensitive at the moment. And I want to, um, you know, I'm, I'm not saying right now this isn't a long term curve trade. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not, I don't know too much about the fundamentals. I'm looking at a, a shorter term a swing trade here uh, through which we'll break to the upside and we'll look for targets. As for targets, well, you know, all we need to do is, is first of all, we can take a target from this uh, descending wedge structure, apply that to the breakout point, assuming it happens right now. And that's going to be targeting around $5.60, which is basically a double top. So $5.60 is, is a fundamental, you know, resistance zone. As for the rest, you can get them off the Fibonacci retracement um, and you can go to the daily chart and we can take a look here and just 
quickly scout out some resistance. We've got resistance at about three dollars, uh, four dollars and thirty cents. We've got resistance at about four dollars and seventy cents. Right, we've got resistance up here, five dollars and seventy cents, where we actually topped out here on the previous move. So there is a few resistance zones to keep in mind in, uh, but generally the structure is bullish, and we can also see on the daily chart that if we do break to the upside, we we will be supported by a bullish MACD cross that we are primed for. So it looks good, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.